Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss in metabolism of lipids about fatty acid synthesis. This particular pathway of fatty acid synthesis is referred to as linen spiral. It is just because of the spiral appearance of this particular pathway and the linen spiral because of the scientists who discovered this particular pathway. So where does this fatty acid synthesis occur? It occurs in the cytoplasm. You remember fatty acid oxidation takes place within the mitochondria. This fatty acid synthesis takes place in the cytoplasm and there are various organs in which this occurs. One is liver, adipose tissue, kidney, brain and also you have the mammary gland which can also produce or synthesize fatty acids and you need to you need a substrate to start the synthesis of fatty acid and that is acetyl CoA. You remember the end product of fatty acid oxidation is acetyl CoA. The starting product, the starting substrate for fatty acid synthesis is acetyl CoA. So, where do you get this acetyl CoA from? Yes, the fatty acid synthesis occurs when you have lot of energy which is being produced. So, this acetyl CoA will be produced from pyruvate by the action of pyruvate dehydrogenase within the mitochondria. Okay, that is a major source of fatty acid synthesis acetyl CoA. So, this acetyl CoA is synthesized from pyruvate by the action of pyruvate dehydrogenase within the mitochondria. So, what are the steps of fatty acid synthesis? As in fatty acid oxidation, here also you have three steps, but what is that step? The first one is transport. I told you acetyl CoA is inside the mitochondria. Fatty acid synthesis is in the cytoplasm. So, you need to bring all the fat, uh, acetyl CoA into the cytoplasm. So, you have a transport mechanism. Here, it is a shuttle mechanism. Okay. And then you carboxylate the acetyl CoA, add one more carbon and make it a three carbon compound. Then you have the proper steps of fatty acid synthase complex. Fatty acid synthase is a multi enzyme complex. So, we will see its structure and what are the different component enzymes present within that complex. So, let us see each one. First, transport of acetyl CoA into the cytoplasm. Okay, so acetyl CoA, which is present in the mitochondria, will be converted to citrate by citrate synthase on combining with oxaloacetate. Hope you remember this enzyme. It is an enzyme of TCA cycle. Yes, citrate. It is converted to citrate, and in the mitochondrial membrane, you have transporters for citrate. So citrate can cross the mitochondrial membrane and get into the cytosol. So now, once the citrate goes outside, in the cytosol, you have the enzyme citrate lyase. It breaks the citrate. It is an ATP citrate lyase. It breaks the citrate into acetyl CoA and oxaloacetate. And acetyl CoA has now come into the cytoplasm. So now it is ready for fatty acid synthesis. So it is just you convert all the acetyl CoA to citrate through citrate transporter, bring it across the membrane and give it in the cytosol. There, citrate lyase break into it, break it into acetyl CoA and give the acetyl CoA for fatty acid synthesis. So, the next step is carboxylation of acetyl CoA. The key enzyme here is it's simple you are carboxylating acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA carboxylase. And I have told you already carboxylases require the vitamin biotin. There are few exceptions. So, the reaction is acetyl CoA will combine with bicarbonate and ATP. Enzyme is acetyl CoA carboxylase to form a three carbon compound which is malonyl CoA. Malonyl CoA. And ATP hydrolysis is associated with this reaction. So, you are giving a lot of energy and activating or carboxylating your acetyl CoA. So, this is the key enzyme of fatty acid synthesis also. Now, coming to the proper steps of fatty acid synthase complex. So, I have told you fatty acid synthase is a multi enzyme complex. Okay. So, inside one enzyme, you have many different enzyme activities. Let us see what are the different enzyme activities in fatty acid synthase complex. So, this is a representation of our fatty acid synthase complex and this first one is the sequence of the enzymes in a monomer of fatty acid synthase. Fatty acid synthase complex exists as a dimer like an X shaped dimer. Okay, this is a homodimer form. So, let us see what are the different enzymes. Just remember the enzyme names alone. You have ketoacyl synthase, malonyl acetyl transacylase, hydratase, enoyl reductase, ketoacyl reductase, acyl carrier protein and thioesterase. So, any enzyme is a mostly enzymes are proteins. So, you have a carboxyl end and you have an amino terminal end and these are the different enzyme activities within the fatty acid synthase complex and when it is arranged as a dimer, it is in the 
shape of a x you can see it in the shape of x okay so now let us see what are the steps of this fatty acid synthase complex you had your acetyl coa to malonyl coa this is already done right you carboxylated it now the different enzymes of this fatty acid synthase comes in different order first one is malonyl acetyl transacylase which will form malonyl acp acyl carrier protein then you have ketoacyl synthase enzyme coming acetoacetyl acp is formed ketoacyl reductase enzyme comes and you have hydroxybutanoyl acp then the hydratase comes where you form the butyl acp by action of enoyl reductase also and finally you have the thioesterase okay so this keeps on repeating again and again and you synthesize the complete fatty acid the cycle keeps on repeating you have the acetyl coa converted into malonyl coa and it undergoes all the steps of the fatty acid synthase complex and this fatty acid synthase complex enzymes will also these uh, the particular uh, fatty acid which is formed will go into again the fatty acid synthase complex and it will keep on extending the chain of fatty acid until you synthesize the required number of carbons now what are the coenzymes involved in fatty acid synthesis these are reductive biosynthetic reactions and the coenzyme involved here will be nadph nadph has four major sources two major sources of enzymes of this nadph is from the hmp shunt pathway glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase and 6 phosphogluconate dehydrogenase okay then you have the other two which is very minor contribution to nadph one is malic enzyme malic enzyme and cytosolic isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme so these are the different sources of nadph and nadph has many uses which you will be discussing or seeing in your session in hmp shunt pathway here it is involved in reductive biosynthetic reactions now fatty acid again synthesis takes place it's a highly energy requiring process so you need to regulate it when it occurs and when it should not occur so what are the regulating factors availability of citrate and atp so when you have excess of atp fatty acid synthesis occurs and citrate is also an indicator of energy status of the cell so depending upon the energy status of the cell when it is full of energy you go for fatty acid synthesis and always hormonal regulation so full of energy it is a fatty acid synthesis so can you tell me which hormone is going to activate it yes insulin is our anabolic hormone insulin will activate fatty acid synthesis and the other hormone glucagon is going to inhibit fatty acid synthesis and already i told you the key enzyme is acetyl coa carboxylase which can be it can also be regulated by covalent modifications so this acetyl coa carboxylase is active in the dephosphorylated state